Hey Cancer, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you the first video of January 2021. I hope all is well in the Cancerian community. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season or have enjoyed it. Um, today is December 26th, so um, we got Kwanzaa today, Hanukkah today, I believe it is, Ramadan. Um, you know, to those who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all. Um, you know, whoever celebrates, I'm shouting you out. Happy holidays to everybody. If you don't celebrate, what's going on with you? Um, I like New Year's myself, so shout out to those who like New Year's. Um, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys did, you know, for the holiday season and, you know, what made it special for you. Um, we're going to see what's going on with you guys for the first, this is going to be like the first week of January. All right, so... Um, you want to take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? And don't try to make something fit that isn't for you, okay? Um, we're going to have an extended, so make sure you take a look at the link in the box below for the extended, especially if this resonates. Please hit that subscription button, okay? Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. The algorithm with YouTube is really weird, so, you know, go ahead and subscribe anyway. You can always unsubscribe if you find that you're not resonating with me. But you also want to check your other placements. I post every week. So if this reading doesn't resonate, check your other placements. You are more than one sign. Okay? You want to get the total experience of what you're going through and what's going on in your world so that you're able to make moves that will um, help you in every area of your of your life. Not just your sun sign or your Venus. Right? So underneath the deck, we got the Seven of Wands. It came out in reverse. Seven of Wands energy in reverse. This is Leo energy. Um, what I am getting with this seven of wands, this is, this is Mars and Leo. So this is about, you know, defending, fighting, protecting, standing up for, I feel like you're no longer in that energy. You're no longer fighting, you know, defending, standing up and protecting something. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So we have the magician energy here, major arcana. Okay. That's uh, mercury. We have the three of cups, which is your energy cancer. We have the, um, what is this? This is the, the Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. We have the Two of Swords, Libra energy. And we have the uh, Page of Cups, which is your energy. So you are showing up in the reading here. So I feel like with the Magician energy, this is Mercury energy. So this is, um, you know, you thinking of what it is that you want to do and how you want to communicate it. Okay, uh, that's what that energy is. It's all about manifesting what you want to come true. The challenge is, is you want to reconnect with someone. Okay, maybe the challenge is, is you reconnecting with someone, manifesting a reconnection. You probably could be trying to manifest this person or this person could be trying to manifest you back. Okay, um, I feel like with the page of cups in reverse here, um, this person, when you were with them, they could have been emotionally manipulative or maybe they're not willing to accept your apology or you're not willing to accept theirs whatever's going on there with that. But I feel like somebody, the universe is maybe telling you not to accept this apology when this person comes in. Um, but we'll, we'll clarify that. You're, where your head is as a two of swords, you're, you're torn. You don't know what to do. So this person could be trying to manifest you back. Um, the challenge is this person could be dealing with someone else also with this third party energy. Um, and maybe they're telling you something or they want to tell you something, but it may not be... Um, hmm, we're going to clarify because I want to know if this is, I want to know what this person's intents are, uh, intentions are. So we have the, um, the page of cups as the outcome here. So somebody definitely wants to offer someone a cup. So someone wants to offer you a cup. Someone could be trying to manifest you back. Okay. Um, to reconcile with you is what I'm feeling here. But I feel like this person may have manipulated you emotionally in the past. Which might be why you two, I feel like you two are not speaking. I feel like you're in the midst of decision. You don't know what to do, okay? So let's see what we get that comes out here. So let's get a little bit of clarification. So somebody is definitely trying to manifest. Um, they're trying to op put an opportunity together for you two to reconnect. The challenge is reconnecting. Clarify the energy between the magician and the three of cups, please. Provide some clarity for this information, please. Or this energy. All right, one too many cards. Thank you. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So, yeah, 
So this is somebody you may have been in a relationship with. Um, if you look at the card upright, this is a family connection. So some of you, um, your marriage partner or your long-term partner um, may be trying to manifest you back. Okay, this could be somebody that you were married to, someone you have children with. Don't necessarily have to have children, but, you know, just take what resonates with you. Um, but it's someone who was in a commitment with you or in a connection with you. They want you back. Okay. Um, with this three of cups energy here, they want to reconnect with you. But I feel like maybe the reason that you guys weren't connected is because this person was maybe um, emotionally manipulative. Or maybe you're feeling as if you don't want to accept their apology back because they may have been dealing with other people. Too many cards. Okay, so this Knight of Wands is what's showing here. Now, it didn't pop out. I'm not going to take it. But it could very well be that this person was messing around with other people. Okay, because we got the Knight of Cups here in reverse. So it could have been that this person was going back and forth between multiple people. And you said, you know what? I had enough. You cut this person off. Okay. They were being emotionally manipulative. That's for some of you. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, this is about stability. This is about long-term commitment, long-term growth. Um, this is a marriage for some of you. Uh, for others of you, you want to reconnect with this person for finance. They want to reconnect with you for financial stability. So yeah, they were emotionally manipulating you. Uh, for a lot of you, you were taking care of them financially or you got that coin to take care of them. So that's why they want to reconnect with you. All right, so you got to be careful with this magician energy because you don't know what this person, why they're manifesting you back. And this told us what this person's intentions were. So, so for some of you, they were messing around on you. They were looking at you for financial stability, okay? Um, and so you're at odds here. You're still in the midst of decision. You're feeling stuck in some way, okay? You're feeling as if, well, damn, should I take this person back or should I not? Um, the knight of, I'm sorry, the, the queen of swords in reverse came out. It didn't come out. It turned over in my hand. Normally, when the cards turn over in my hand like this, I don't take them. I need them to pop out. But I will show you this because I feel like some of you are in denial about this situation here. You're not accepting the reality. You're not looking at the reality of what this person was doing and, and, and how they were manipulating you. Some of you could still be in pain from what you were experiencing with this person. Okay, so we got the, yeah, the emperor came out, the, I'm sorry, the empress came out in reverse. So for some of you, this is somebody who was money hungry. Here we go right here. Some of you were dealing with someone who was money hungry, okay? You were providing for them, making sure that they were good. You found out that they were out here messing around, doing things that they shouldn't have been doing, violating a relationship in any way, shape, or form that they could get away with. And as a result, you ended up cutting things short with them, which also included cutting the, finan the financial, um, uh, 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 benefits. All right. What flipped over in the deck is the, uh, justice energy in reverse. So I feel like this is saying that if you go back to this person, the injustice is going to continue. This person is not going to be honest. This is Libra energy, major arcana energy. This is karmic. This connection here is a karmic connection. Okay. So I feel like, you know, this person is coming back to you wanting to offer you their cup, uh, but it's not for good intention. So we have eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, so you you know what's going on. You have clarity. Your intuition was telling you what was up with this person, and you know what you know what it is. Underneath the deck, the wheel of fortune in reverse. So you've been through this with this person before. Okay? You this is someone you've been with for a long time. The King of Pentacles, the Empress Energy in reverse. This is somebody you've known 10 plus years at least. Okay. You could have children with this person. You could have been married, maybe not. You were in a long-term com committed connection with this person. Maybe it was a situationship. But um, you were dealing with this person for at least 10 years. Okay? You guys at one point were in a relationship. Maybe you lived together. Maybe you were married. But I feel like there is definitely a separation of that now. So we have the seven of... Yeah, you're no longer fighting for the connection at all. Okay? You're no longer defending it. You're no longer standing for it. Yeah, and then we have the seven of swords come right after that. Okay, because you know that this person is up to no good. They're sneaky. They're up to something. With the seven of pentacles here, you know, they're, they want to, um, this is somebody who is patient, so to speak. This is somebody who um, is going to um, 
figure out what they need to do. And I figure that is what this magician energy is too. We got the three of wands here. They see you as the person who, they see you as their ships coming in. All right, but with the nine of wands here, you're kind of defended. You're blocking this person. You want to stay single is what I'm feeling here for some of you. You you feel like you know within that this person is just up to no good. They have not changed and people don't change, um, you know, in a month or a year. And, you know, somebody was in the comments when I said people don't change. What you have to understand is most people do not change their ways. Some people do. But when people change their ways, it's usually because something external to them happened to them to make them sit their ass down. The universe sat their ass down somewhere. Very few people just say, okay, you know what? I'm going to stop being an asshole to this person. I'm going to be good to this person. Um, unless the universe sat their ass down in some way, shape, or form to make them realize that they were doing something wrong. And um, usually that does not happen. Most people do not change, okay? Especially in a year. <laughs> so, you know, there has to be something major or catastrophic that would have happened to this person to make them see things differently. And so, you know, you hope for the best, but you have to look at things logically. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, you know, I feel like a lot of you are not looking at it in that way. So we have um, the Justice energy here again, number 11 energy. And then we have the Seven of Wands that wanted to come out again. Okay. I'm going to take it. We have the Two of Swords that came out in reverse, making the decision that's best for you. These are some of the same, two of these are some of the same cards that were in the last spread. So we got the six of uh, cups in reverse, Scorpio energy. That's the past energy. This is karmic, like I was saying to you. And then we have the uh, king of wands in reverse. Um, Underneath the deck, overall energy, we have the hermit energy. No, this is not the hermit. Mm, 10, 14. This is number 14. What's number 14, Major Arcana? Temperance. <laughs> this is temperance. This is Sag energy. Okay? So this is all about bringing balance, patience, peace, restoration. You know, um, I feel like this is an energy of, of wisdom, okay? Um, based on, you know, the ups and downs that you went through with this situation. So justice is here. Like I said, karmic energy, especially with the Six of Cups. In reverse, definitely got um, a karmic connection here, karmic situation. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Two of Swords in reverse, uh, Libra energy. Okay, we got two cards with Libra. Uh, Six of Cups in reverse is Scorpio. And the King of Wands in reverse is Leo. Someone wanting to bring justice to a situation. Someone wanting to do someone right. The challenge is, is uh, this person is fighting against them they're defending themselves against this person it's like okay this person wants to come in and say hey i'm sorry i want to make things right but the challenge is is that the person that they've been doing wrong is defensive and doesn't want you know anything to do with them i feel like um the universe you know this person has made up their mind they realize that the person that they were dealing with was just out for their own good just out for their own benefit because the two of swords in reverse is like you've either made a decision about something or you've made a decision and it's based on what you want. You don't care about the other people involved. Um, and so as a result, you're letting go of the past. You've made your decision with this person and you're deciding, you know what, the past is going to be in the past. I have unrealistic expectations with this person. You know, this situation I have to let go of. And as a result here with the king of wands in reverse here, I feel like this is an energy of someone who... Um, it's just not going to follow through, okay? This is someone who may say, okay, well, we could have sex, but I'm not really interested in anything more. This is also someone who could be afraid to end things or afraid to, because um, the, the king of, of uh, wands is an energy to me of someone who is a coward, okay? So maybe this person is just not ready to settle down. That's maybe how you see this person. Like this person doesn't want to be with me or this person is running around with other people. They're just coming to me to get what they can get from me, whatever they can benefit from, from me. And it's usually sex with the King of Wands in reverse. So it's like with the Six of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse here, this is you just saying, you know what? I already know what time it is with you. I've been through this with you before. You know, I can't expect you to step up to be, you know, the man or the woman that I need you to be and keep your zipper closed and keep your legs closed. You, you've proven to me that you can't do that. So as a result, I've made a decision what that's best for me because in the past you were making decisions that were best for you. And that had to do with running around with other people. 
You know, also, I feel like the seven of wands energy is an energy of you not being able to trust this person. It's like, how can I trust you? You know, you're always out here running around. You know, the situation that always goes down is that there's always somebody else going on. And so I feel like this is the universe coming in saying you're closing out. I'm the, the wheel didn't show up here, but I feel like this is you closing out this cycle. You know, letting letting this go. Here we go. Judgment. Yeah, see, you're, you're, I feel like you're going to close this out. So, yeah, we have, because um, you don't have faith in the situation anymore with the star card in reverse here. You, you, you're letting this go. Also, you're dealing with someone who's very arrogant, I feel. Um, so, yeah, with the temperance energy, you're bringing balance to the situation because with the nine of wands in reverse, you're no longer fighting with this person um, or fighting for this connection. Um, this person, I feel like you're the one who's bringing the balance, okay, not this person. The nine of pentacles in reverse represents somebody who... Um, has been pretending to be single, but is really not. This could also be somebody who was leaning on someone for financial dependence. Uh, you know, they're financially in the, uh, financially dependent on the other partner. And I feel like, you know, with judgment here, you're making a decision. This has been coming up for you for a while with this person. And that's what judgment usually is. It's like, it's something that you, you know, you know, you needed to make a decision on, but you just brushed it off and it keeps coming back up. So I feel like the energy, um, as far as this person doing you dirty keeps coming back up. And then it got to the point with the king of, with the queen of pentacles here. You know, some of you, you know, you were in it, like I said, you were in this connection 10 plus years with this person. You may have children with this person. So, I mean, you may be feeling a bit stuck because of the fact that, you know, you had a long-term connection with this person or this person has your children. But this person does not have your best interests at heart. They never have and they never will because they were put in your life to be a karmic, to teach you lessons of self-worth, self-value, and not to, you know, give everything out, uh, freely to this person just because they have you have children with them. They were taking advantage of you here. Yeah, and they were very arrogant and cocky with it with the star card in reverse here. And with the seven of cups here, they had you disillusioned. And they knew it. They knew they had it, and they would do it over and over and over again to you with the world. I mean, with the wheel of fortune energy here. But I feel like this is the universe coming in also and telling you, you know what, things are going to change. Okay, where do you have um, Jupiter at in your chart? So your Cancer... Jupiter is an Aquarius. So is that, what's the opposite of you? Capricorn. So seventh. Your seventh house is where Aquarius is? Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, um, Capricorn, Aquarius. Jupiter is in Aquarius. So that's your eighth house. Okay. So Jupiter and Saturn are in your eighth house. So this is hidden feelings, hidden emotions, hidden agendas. And I feel like you're realizing that this person had hidden feelings, hidden emotions, hidden agendas. Uh, eighth house also deals with other people's money. So this person was tapping into your money, um, you know, because you were a good provider with the King of Pentacles energy. Anytime this person called and needed something, you would give it to them. This person would take advantage of you because of that. You know, they would ask for money for things that they really didn't need money for, lie to you and tell you what it was for, what it was about, you know, this type of energy. And I feel like this is what's going on with you guys. And I feel like you're realizing this and you're wrapping up this cycle. So what we're going to do is, um, if this resonated, let me know. Click the uh, like button. Let me know in the comments. Also, guys, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because you know I post weekly. So if this doesn't resonate, you got other placements in your chart. You're not just cancer, all right? Make sure you look at your other placements. Um, I'm going to go to the extended because we're going to clarify this and get a little bit more um, insight into this scenario here. And we're going to find out what spirit's advice is to you. You're very intuitive, cancer. You know what you need to do. Some of you just might need a little bit of assurance moving forward. And we'll get that for you when we clarify, okay? So I'll see you in the extended or I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye, cancer.